I think it just stopped. And now, and then you go to the, my Tonight Show friends, my Stern Show friends, Doug Goodstein, Scott D. Pace. Scott D. Pace blocked you. You guys don't talk anymore. He's listing him as his friend. That was the second name from Stern? Scott DePace? Yeah. <laughs> Carl, this is why I do not keep the comments up, because... <laughs> You're looking at it right here. My God. Oh, oh, it's funny. Well, yeah, his cats. John's been... <laughs> credit to Go Go Gadget Wang. John's been goofing on me a lot lately, He's saying that I sound like I'm gargling. I have had a cold the last couple of weeks. Maybe that's part of it. But he's doing this thing where he goes, like that's what I sound like. I don't get it. But the problem with John is that he thinks he's so funny that he actually embarrasses himself trying to do the impression of me. It's not even on the don't first. Don't give that reason. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, don't give that reason. Yeah. He's so bad at this, too, oh. because he's watching Vince watch Point Devil Point. He can't watch Point Devil Point. He has to watch Vince watch it. And I said, don't give them reasons. Four words. And John has to pause it and immediately start goofing on me. It's like, well, maybe find something in context you can goof on. That would make more sense. But no, no, no. He hears me say four words, and then he mimics it and embarrasses himself. It's not even on the don't first. Don't give them reasons. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Don't give that reason. Yeah. This is transformative content. Look at this. John. Don't give that reason. Don't give that reason. This is how the man's going to die. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is how John died. Look at him. He's fucking losing his shit. He looks terrible. And this yeah. is so embarrassing. I know he thinks that he makes faces. Yeah. He's funny. Bert Kreischer looks better than you, dude. Yes. Yeah, good point. Speaking of Oof. alcoholic face, look at this. Look at that face. Man. It's like he's wearing a Suttering John mask. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of those. <laughs> I mean, too, now. <laughs> but what's crazy is that this is all embarrassing. It's not funny. See, and John always says that we see, laugh at our own jokes. And I watch how John hard. wraps this <laughs> bit up. Holy shit. Fucking hell. Lady K, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> What's he talking about? Yeah, what, what, I don't what just happened? <laughs> What's going on? All I said was don't give him reasons. And John goes off, embarrasses himself, laughs at his own death, which is what I'm diagnosing John with, is they feel a need to correct people when they spell something incorrectly or their grammar's off. John's spelling is atrocious. His grammar is crazy bad. I've seen no evidence of that. Oh, I've seen some. <laughs> I've seen some. <laughs> but this is beyond. Because now John is remembering a time that he corrected somebody else from years ago Ugh. and bragging about that. I gotta drink a monster or something. Thanks for the five. Uh, Three minutes after you marked her for Achilles, you mispronounced. No, it's Felicia. She said on her show. She said on KB's show the other day, "It's not Felicia. It's Felicia." So who's mispronouncing it now? See now, this is where you look stupid. And this is what I, 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 I crave people like you. It's like when Baba Booey once said, when I said on Facebook, I spelt it correctly. And he says, John, it's spelled. And I had to show him the Webster Dictionary that spelt is a word, S-P-E-L-T. And then he wrote back, I stand corrected. Well, now you, if you were really a man, ago, huh? <laughs> you would, or, you know, that's... That's, uh, I guess, uh, what do they call that? Uh, Stupid? Uh, <laughs> uh, is that misogynistic or sexist? But if you were real... It's neither. No. I don't know. I don't know how you could say it. 160 IQ, huh? Uh, what a you should embrace the fact wow. that you fucked up. So not only does John remember every compliment he's ever been paid by anyone, he also remembers every time he's corrected someone. This is and a they show. Went, you were right. 
this is a show he puts this out there oh, yeah. just to get super chats, right? Like that's Correct. that's all he's doing. Okay. He's going he's all going right. longer and longer. Yeah. He's getting super chats. It's not ad reads, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not doing no. that ad reads anymore. <laughs> he does get these super chats coming in, and that's basically what his show is. He's pretty much figured out the Kevin Brennan model. And this is the model that everybody wants. I want to do zero prep. I want to sit down in front of my computer and have people give me money and I'll just read what they wrote and they'll pay maybe five and ten and twenty dollars at a time to do that. The difference between what John is doing and what Kevin Brennan is doing is that Kevin brings other people on the show and he yeah. goes, look at these assholes. And everyone goes, yeah, those guys are assholes. <laughs> and Kevin gets to read <laughs> jokes on Ray DeVito and Chad Zumach. John sits there and goes, hey, look at I'm an asshole. And everyone goes, yeah, you're an asshole. And he has to sit there and read it. <laughs> Which seems like it wouldn't be great for the world. Realtor, substitute teacher. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we just got wow. to. He left Uber out. He That's did weird. leave Uber out. Maybe he failed that one. <laughs> but it's also crazy because if you think about... It'd be one thing if it's like, well, I graduated high school and I graduated community college and then I got a four-year degree. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You're taking steps. John is taking steps in the right direction. Uh, 35 years ago, I got my bachelor's of fine arts degree and then I became a realtor 25 years after that. And then I became a substitute teacher because of an emergency <laughs> in California. And now I beg for a super chat. <laughs> And now I'm excited about funeral director giving me 20 bucks. <laughs> I might go for my C-class license next week. <laughs> Which is comprehensive algebra, reading and writing. And it's not like what you think, reading and writing. You have to fucking present arguments. You have to fucking back no, them you up. Don't. No, you don't. <laughs> I mean, you're a uh, professor. Yeah, I, I think you probably would know more about this than John would. But I love the fact that he goes, it's not reading and writing like you think it is. Right. What do you think I think it is? You civilians. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys just, have no just idea. The, uh, just the idea of arguing with people that aren't there about degrees that you yeah. have. I can't so, understand this. You know, they're smart, but they decided to pick a trade, which is admirable, too. I'm not putting anybody down, but I'm going to put them down (laughs) about this very thing because watch this. Even Dr. Steve was messaging me about this. I've never seen someone drool out of the top of their mouth before. Like usually drool comes out of your bottom lip. I've had this in slow-mo. Watch this closely. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what? like a venomous snake. Yes. <laughs> well, Dr. Steve wrote me. He's like, I haven't seen that since the movie Alien. Yeah. Oh. It's right. crazy. How is there that much well, saliva? This is why he's making fun of you gargling. He's trying to get in front of his own saliva problem. Maybe. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Although it that's didn't help. So bizarre. Him doing that gargling thing. And that's coming from a high school dropout. <laughs> didn't make it better. It came up. Is saying that, uh, uh, oh, John didn't play the guitar on uh, on his album. I'm like, oh, okay. We've never seen John play ever. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You never saw me play. Just go to the fucking, fucking every fucking video that I've been, that's been out there. I mean, there's actually live of me playing. <laughs> Which is how you play guitar. There's live of me. There's live of him playing. <laughs> wow. So we have watched the video of John playing guitar and Conan O'Brien. Yep. And it was terrible. It was pretty bad. It was really yeah. bad. It was amateur at best, which is why I think that maybe the studio maybe brought a guy in, maybe a ringer. So mm. sometimes on his show, he will just play. He'll be watching his own clips. Yes. Wouldn't this be the time to play one of those clips? This would be the time. And refute everything? He was going to play the music video, but then he's like, oh, I'll get a copyright strike. Okay. Mm-hmm. But he probably could play Conan, and we've done that on this show before, and no one's better than I at it. So, yeah, you would think so. But I, I really think he's nervous about this one. If you listen Conan, to my song on like King, really bad I'm high shredding. school garage band. But I don't have it like here. Like some of those guys are good. Really bad. Uh, really, so, really he explains untalented. that he has a soul on a song called King. Both Andy and I looked it up. Before the show yesterday, we couldn't find it. So, I don't know. I got to find out what this is. Um, He's got to lighten up on his keyboard. That's why his fingers fucked up. I I know. How hard is it to find? Well, it's not on this album, the song King. No. That's what I should do. I should make up a song no one can find. No. It. Be like, dude, I play you really know what, good I'll, guitar. I'll, you know what? 
because it's on my other computer, but I'll play you, and, and then you'll hear me shred Daniel Lucas. Right, yeah. And it's me. Fucking dabs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking hysterical. I've, I've been on stage since I was fucking, fucking five. Make up something good. Six. Uh-huh. Well, that's not the brag you think it is. Having a recital when you're five doesn't mean you're a good guitar <laughs> show. When you do these shows, when you go on the Conan show, mm-hmm. you turn to people inevitably afterwards. You go, "Hey, was I funny?" Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you something about yourself. Mm-hmm. You are the least funny person I've ever met. Mm-hmm. You are not funny. Okay. You're obnoxious. Okay. You're not funny. All right. I'll tell you what's funny about you. You stutter. Mm-hmm. When you go on TV and you try to be me, mm-hmm. it's not funny. All right. It comes off obnoxious. Okay. It's a it's very fine line. You can tell. You are funny when you are yourself. Uh-huh. When you start to talk about yourself, there is a certain naivete about you that is interesting, that is heartwarming, and that is funny when you start to stammer about your life. Okay. When you go on the air and you run around like Howard, and you you look like you're doing a bad Looking Howard impression, you are not funny. Okay. So crazy. afterwards, when you come off these shows and you he say to me, was I funny? Later. Or you say to uh, Jackie, Jackie, was I, w- 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 was I funny? That's funny. Because you're so insecure, you're funny. Uh-huh. You're being you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Adrian, what happened between you two? Oh, he's going to go. Going he's going to go beat John's ass. Why is John doing that? John's nuts. Just for now, I'm not saying go home, I get out. I'm saying like go home and calm down. AJ, just calm down. You can't come to the place and punch a guy in the face. AJ, 